Welcome to Data Demystified. I'm Jeff Gallick, and this is my series of tutorial videos on how to use SPSS to work with data. In this video, I'm going to show how to conduct and interpret a partial correlation. As always, we'll be using the YouTube viewing habit survey that I created, and you can find both a link to the data file and a video tutorial of the data below. Partial correlations are basically just bivariate correlations with a control variable, basically saying what's the correlation in the presence of the variability of some other variable. It's very similar to the idea of running a regression with a control variable or just a multiple regression. So I'll show you how to do this quickly and then I'll give you a chance to try it yourself. I wanna know if there's a correlation between two variables how terrible and amazing people think YouTube is, and how poor to good people think YouTube is. I presume there's a pretty high correlation between those. But I also think that, you know what, maybe some of that relationship can be explained by variation in how boring to fun people think YouTube is. So I could run a regression where I say predict how terrible amazing YouTube is as a function of these two variables. That would basically be the same idea as running a partial correlation between these two variables, controlling for boring versus fun. So let me show you what that looks like. Under Analyze, Correlate, Partial, I'm gonna put the two main variables that I wanna compare into my variables table. And under Controlling For, I'll add this opinion of boring versus fun. There's one option that I'm gonna select. So if I click Options, I like to ask for the zero order correlations. What that means is I wanna know the correlations for each of these variables with one another without any control variables. That's really useful for me to see if my control variable, if my, what I'm adjusting for in my partial correlation actually had any effect at all. So I'll select that, click Continue, and no other changes need to be made, so I'll click OK. I get this big table, and what's worth noting is that the top of the table is different from the bottom. The top are my zero order correlations. Those are just the basic bivariate Pearson correlations. So for example, the correlation between this variable of YouTube liking unterrible versus amazing as it correlates with poor versus good is 0.677. If I then pop down to the bottom half of this table, what I see is the correlation between those variables, again, terrible, amazing, relative to poor good, but here this is telling us it's controlling for this other variable, boring fun. I see it right here, control variable. This top panel has none, and this bottom panel has this control variable that I included. The correlation has now dropped. It's still positive and significant, but it's much smaller than it was up here, suggesting that there is in fact some variation that could be explained here by this boring fun dimension. You can include a lot of different control variables, but once you're getting into that game, I highly suggest switching over to running regressions, which are of course a topic that I cover in a different video. This is the point of the video where I ask you to pause and try this yourself. Uh, in particular, why don't you go ahead and try and run the same basic correlation, but instead of controlling for boring versus fun, control for something else like age. So see if there's a correlation between these two variables, YouTube favorability on this terrible, amazing dimension, and poor good, controlling for age. Go ahead and pause the video and give it a try now. So hopefully you've done that, and I'll go ahead and do it as well. Under Analyze, Correlate, Partial. I'll remove this control variable, and instead I'll scroll to the bottom and I'll add age. Nothing else needs to change, so I'm gonna go ahead and run that. And what I see is that the correlation stays 0.677 with no controls, as of course it should. And as we control for the variability that exists in age, not much happens. That correlation remains virtually identical at 0.68. It's statistically significant, it's positive, and it's pretty much unchanged, suggesting that age really isn't playing a factor in determining the relationship between our two primary variables. So again, partial correlation, it's a special case of correlations where you can include control variables in order to parse out what variability might exist above and beyond the variability of that control variable. That's it for this video. I hope you found this useful, and if you have any questions, please comment below, and I'll be sure to reply as quickly as I can. Aside from these tutorials, I'm on a mission to equip everyone with the information they need to thrive in our data-rich world. If you'd like to learn not just the mechanics of analysis, which these video tutorials focus on, but also learn the intuition behind the analysis you're performing, I strongly suggest you check out the other intuition-focused videos on this channel where I take the jargon out of statistics and data science and help you build a deep, intuitive understanding behind all the analysis that you're performing. I'll put a link below to a playlist of the videos that focus on just this. Finally, please take a moment to like the video, subscribe to this channel, and click that little bell icon so that you don't miss out on any new content that I put out. Thanks for watching.